Hello everybody. In this screencast, we are going to look at solving this assignment, which is assignment number 10, where it has two features. One feature is to manage your grades and to post some grades. And then the second feature is to manage the reviews, meaning to, uh, to like, for example, here, this is my list of grades. It's empty. But when you look at reviews, you're able to review courses, meaning you can like or dislike courses. And in addition, you can add reviews to courses. Uh, that's in addition to adding adding courses so basically you can pick a semester let's say the fall semester and you pick a course and you specify a grade to the course click on submit the course should be added to your firebase and displaying here all right that is very straightforward so we'll build the grades part first which is uh, something that we did before when we did the posts and uh, then after the grades we are going to uh, implement the reviews so let's start with the grades part all right so you are given the skeleton app, which has uh, all the flow and all the layouts and all the, the interface done for you. You just have to write the Firebase code that you need. Right, so let's make this a little bit sided here so that we can see it. View controllers, my grades. Here we are. OK. And uh, I'll set up a snapshot listener. But before that, let's create create grades or add grade add course. No, not this one. Oh, it's add course view controller. And uh, basically, it's here when you have a course, right? So basically, what I'm going to store is looking at the docu document here. I need to store the letter grade, the uh, the course na number, the course name, the semester, and the number of credit hours. In addition to that, I have the letter grade. All right. In addition, I'm going to store also my user ID and document ID. All right. So now let's have a look at the models that are there. There's the models. <coughs> they already gave us some stuff. Document ID, course name course number, uh, course hours, semester, the letter grade, <coughs> the numeric grade, all right, and then the user ID. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to copy that stuff from here. Mm -hmm. And then when you are adding, we're going to add it here. So let's do this. I'm going to import, um, import uh, Firebase auth. Here it is. And then import Firebase Firestore. There it is. And then we go get let uh, db equal to firebase uh, firebase firestore firestore sorry firestore dot firestore all right so we have that mm -hmm. we're gonna get the data so basically we'll say let data equal to uh, is of type <coughs> string any okay here we are <coughs> <coughs> okay so here is this one mm -hmm. okay so here it is i'm gonna store the document id and we're gonna get it from the reference so let's say let doc reference equal to db dot uh, collection collect grades dot document all right cool so that's the <coughs> document reference <coughs> all right and we can go here document reference dot document id all right cool so we did that now the course name here's the course name the course number <coughs> the course hours the semester the letter grade is that the numeric grade and the user id all right so the user id is straightforward also we did that before we get it firebase auth uh, auth dot auth auth dot auth dot dot uid get current user dot uid all right so that we're done with that now the course name uh, is under there is a selected course dot name right, that's the name of the selected course here we are and similarly the course number where is you have the number where is the course number you have the course hours also there it is course hours the semester is the selected semester uh, 
here is the selected semester dot and it has the semester name so this is the name of it where is that <coughs> all right so we have that and then also the letter grade we have the uh, grade selected all right selected grade dot you want the letter grade here is the letter grade okay and then similarly there is selected grade and we want the number all right cool so we have that stuff already we have the reference we can go ahead and save all right so we go in db uh, document reference dot um, set data to data and i need a and um, i will also have a completion uh, block so here is data mm -hmm. error error if error if let error equal to error all right else we are good to go self dot dismiss true do we want to go back is this a plus yes it's this so basically we just can pop it's not dismiss it's uh, self dot navigation controller navigation controller dot view to true all right so that's what we're doing here <coughs> we're leaving and uh, this one we're just going to see control c and do our control v here and do error dot localized description error dot localized description if there is an error and we are good to go so basically we can also use the pick a hood here but i don't need to do that now here it is go back to the firebase document database okay posts mm -hmm. go back here let's create a document let's pick the semester pick the course and pick the grade and click on submit and boom it went through refresh <coughs> we should see grades here it is this is the data being stored seems to be storing things okay <coughs> all right so that's that <coughs> and then uh, we're done with this let's do my grades so my grades is here I need to set up a snapshot listener let's set it up here we'll do the same thing so I'll go into create at course grades let's copy this one from here Okay, and I will import these libraries. It's a lot of repetitive work here. All right, so we re imported Firebase Auth and Firestore. Here we are, and then we'll do db dot collection, and this is grades. And I don't want all the grades in the world. I want the grades that were created by me. So I will do a filter. So I'll copy that the user ID dot uh, where field equals see here there is where field equal is equal to here is the field is equal to uh, auth dot auth dot current user dot uid right and then snapshot listener add snapshot listener here is the listener this is the snapshot and this is error error all right and then basically what we're going to do is just very repetitive work that we did before uh, we could do if error uh, if let error equal to error let error equal to error we'll do something with it else we'll do something else and i can go ahead and copy the code we had here Control c and there is that Control v right so uh, this is court course error or something or grades error Alright, good. We're good here. Now we go in and check to see if uh, snapshot is not equal to nil. And uh, what we could do is this: we could say if let snapshot, oops, sorry, snapshot equals snapshot. Alright. Else uh, we just uh, do nothing. Basically, I'm not going to do anything here. If the snapshot is not nil, right? Now I could check to see if snapshot 
is empty is not empty right okay and then i'm gonna go and continue on with what i'm doing basically for each document in uh, snapshot dot documents right here is that and then basically we are going to retrieve uh, from there the grade so basically if you go back to the models here is the grade we create an initializer in it and i'm going to send you a query uh, a snapshot right snapshot which is of type query document query document snapshot so let me just import firebase firestore okay query document snapshot here we are cool and now we go and do this thing again so basically what i'm going to do is that let i'll say if let value equals <coughs> uh, snapshot of something here as string all right and then basically here here's the document id and here's your document id so basically if value document id and then here we do uh, self doc doc id uh, equal to value all right so we're good so we have that control c all right so we have the document id let's get the course name there's the course name course name course number and then this is course hours which is a double so basically here and here double all right semester okay then with the semester we have the letter grade we have the numeric grade the numeric grade is also a double all right okay we're done here and then similarly we have the last one which is a string which is the user id all right this is user id all right we're good now we're able to do this here so basically now we could do um, uh, self.grades dot append grade with document here it is so basically now here we are and then when you are done done with this whole process we just clear the grades here we do uh, self to grades remove all and then we go in and do self dot table view dot reload data. okay good so we're good here and now if we go back to the grade itself and look at what it does it seems that we're loading everything so if we run it it should show something all right so we go back <coughs> our data i have one course right so it should display that one course here it is now notice something that we are filtering by user id if you look at the snapshot listener we are filtering by user id right where the field is equal to and so on so now i can uh, change the user id just to show you uh, that just added some some names here and the user that that course disappeared from my courses all right okay so we're good we're able to display the courses let's add some courses just to play with this here it is let's add another core the course this is great submit here it is let's add another course let's say another semester another course is that a course let's say this one and here we are let's split a b for that submit and we're good to go so we have another course now showing the grade is straightforward you just have to calculate it it's very easy <coughs> so i can create a, a function right so i'll call it for example display grades our function let's say calculate gpa or something right and basically it's going to loop over them and so on so basically we need to calculate the gpa let's say var um, this is the uh, this is the total hours total okay so the to total hours <coughs> equals uh, is a double right? and equal to 0, 0.0 and then also i have var 
uh, accumulation all right so i'm going to accumulate or let's say for example i'll call it uh, i'll call it maybe gpa gpa also double okay now i'll do for each grade in grades mm -hmm. and then basically what i'm going to do is i have the grade mm -hmm. for each grade in grades i'm going to calculate do some math now so basically i just need to get the number of hours multiplied by the letter grade so basically we'll do gpa equal gpa plus just want to check something because i don't want problems so if grade dot i don't want the letter grade i want the numeric grade uh, is not equal to nil and grade dot hours is not equal to nil then i will continue right so let's make this a little bit clearer here if both of them are not equal to nil i'm going to continue on and then i'm going to do this uh, gpa equal control x that is control control z control v gpa equals the numeric grade times the the hours that's that times multiplied by uh the course hours okay there it is okay so we multiplied them in addition to that there's a small space here okay good uh the total hours equals to the total hours uh, plus the course hours there's that okay so we have the total hours done right so that's the loop that we have here and now go and check to see if the total hours if the total hours is uh, greater than zero mm -hmm. else I'm gonna do something else. So basically, if it's greater than zero, then we can calculate the GPA. So basically, GPA equals to GPA uh, divided by total hours. Total hours, and now we can just go ahead and do the uh, display. So self dot table at the uh, label GPA label dot text equals now let's have a look at what it shows gpa capital gpa and then the number after that okay good so what i'm going to do is the same thing gpa right so we're done with the gpa label so it's done. and then this is hours so we go here total hours and this is the label the hours label good so that's this one now the other one we're going to just display it as zeros so basically it's going to be 0, 0.0 same thing 0, 0.00 and similarly here 0, 0.00 all right all right so we're good now we call this method when we call it whenever we receive a notification so basically um whenever before we do this i'm gonna do this one also here all right so we'll do self dot and we're good to go so now we're on it and now it's going to calculate the GPA. All right, so here we are. And here's your GPA, 3.5. Let's get another A to bump up the GPA a little bit. So let's do this, the course, let's say this one. And we do A and submit. And it should bump up the GPA a little bit. Let's add another one. <coughs> letter grade and submit and it did bump up the gpa a little. so basically slowly 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 it's going to bump up the gpa and so on all right <coughs> so we are calculating it uh it seems that some of them have different they have different uh, now let's do the delete delete is very easy so the delete here we are we will do the same exact thing meaning that we did before in another video where we do db uh, grades here is that you're getting the grade object okay, that's why we are get keeping the document id dot document and it is grade dot document id dot delete and we're good to go so this would delete it <coughs> so we go here 
and I pick the delete here it is I click on the delete click on the delete again and so on and it works you know uh, 2 plus 3 is 5 so that's 5 hours 2 A's is a GPA of 4 perfect all right so we are able to, to do the GPA it's done that that part of the assignment is done uh, the second part of the assignment is managing the reviews so basically when you look here you are able to display it's already displayed for you <coughs> if you look at the course uh, object they, we already left for you the JSON so basically you see here the course has an ID has a name has a number has a number of hours we're not interested in all of that all of this is coming in through the API so if you look at uh, course reviews there is an API call that goes in and gets you these courses you know so basically that's already happening get courses but what we want to do is to use Firebase to manage the likes so basically you can like a course or unlike the course in addition you want to um, to be able to uh, count the number of reviews so what I will do is for each course <coughs> I am going to do this I am going to do this basically <coughs> when when we receive uh, I want to store first of all for each course I want to store a collection called courses while the ID of the document is the course ID and then under it I will just initialize it all with <coughs> with uh, the course name and uh, I, I'll have uh, just the course ID number of reviews and who liked it so basically by um, who liked it I'm going to have an array of IDs and then I'm going to add to the array or remove from the array okay <coughs> okay so let's do this so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do this let's say here I am going to uh, uh, create a snapshot listener that listens to that so basically let's do this again control C and here we are control V I need to import the libraries here are the libraries here here they are and okay good now what I'm also going to do is the snapshot listener where is that here we have we have a snapshot listener here I'm gonna copy that from here to here I don't know I want to rewrite all the code again there it is but instead of grades it's gonna be courses courses and then there is nowhere close it's just get me all the courses that have a record and okay this is gonna call the courses error okay good and I'm gonna remove that actually I'm gonna remove this Oh, control Z we'll keep this okay remove this one <coughs> and this one all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to manage uh, um, I need a dictionary of that object you know, I'm not gonna get a list so basically I'll create an object here which uh, holds is gonna hold the uh, <coughs> the course uh, information uh, meaning not only the course information it will have the course ID and <coughs> if you look here we have a course review and what I'm going to do is let's say it's gonna hold the course ID right which is going to be a string and also var I'm going to hold inside it the like user UIDs which is gonna be a string array also I'm going to include an integer let's say a var and th that's going to be the uh, reviews count right and that's going to be a double uh, or a number let's say I can make it integer and I'll make it zero to start off as zero right <coughs> All right, so basically that's what I'm going to store, right? <coughs> and I'm going to read this data. So and let's set up the snapshot listener. So I'm going to do the same thing that we had for the course, you know. But copy that from here. I need to have the uh, not this one, sorry. We had for the grade, <coughs> right? So let's copy one of these. And here we are. <coughs> okay, and close this. And I'm just gonna import import fire store. <coughs> okay. So now we do this, we get and we can also store the course ID is the document ID. So basically that's gonna be the document ID. The course ID is the document ID. <coughs> Copy that. Here it is, and here it is. We got the document ID. 
and then similarly we do the same thing for the other two and the like IDs <coughs> as <coughs> uh, an array string array and this is the like IDs equal to the value a review count here's that this is review count review count as um, as uh, integer <coughs> okay we're good so we have these values we are able to read them so now when I go in here I'm gonna read them mm -hmm. but what in order for me for ease of access I'm gonna create a dictionary I'll call it for example uh, var mapping uh, course mappings right or or <coughs> Uh, course records let's say courses course map I'll call it course map which is equal to an array of uh, it's a it's a dictionary that has a string uh, key and the uh, values are going to be course review course review of type course review all right and here it is I initialized it here's the course map and that's what we're going to be clearing every time we go here uh, remove all and then what we're going to do <coughs> we're not going to go get documents right <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to say let course review let course review equal to course review of the document that we are receiving and basically we will go in and do this we're going to do uh, course map self dot course map self dot course map of <coughs> uh, course review uh, dot uh, course ID equals course review. So we just add it to the map, and then we load the table self dot. So that's just what we're going to store, right? And <coughs> basically, that's one thing we're going to do. Another thing also we can do is we can, um, yeah, that's one thing we're going to do. I'm going to do it this way. All right. So now <coughs> we're going to read these courses. And what another thing we can also do is we can trigger uh, writing writing the document. So if you go back here to Firebase real time or adding data, right, and uh, add data, mm -hmm. and if you scroll down you can add data like this add data like this data types custom objects add the document and update the document and several timestamp they talk about all of that stuff here <coughs> uh, update elements of an array data contention da, da, da. so now <coughs> what i can do is also i can uh, add for the first time you come in uh, what I could do is once you are here, right, you can figure out uh, a system where you can create these doc these collections. Right? Okay, so let's go back to the course map. So now we need to populate that course map. So instead of this grade stuff that we had here, we go in and we create let course review, course review to equal to course review using the constructor or the initializer that we created we pass it the document we have the course review and now the dictionary self dot course map add the key of what's the key it's course review dot course id okay will be equal to the course review so basically that allows us based on the course id we can retrieve that course review okay good so we are good here so uh, here allows us to get this map right <coughs> so now using the map we want to be able to when you when you click on a heart we want to uh, using the map we can figure out does the map have that course review object so basically is it stored you see here we don't have any course reviews so if we refresh here we don't have any course reviews so or, or we're going to call it courses i think the dictionary yes we're going to call it courses so the collection we don't have a courses collection so this means nothing is there so when you click on let's say you click so where is the click handler here let's say we click so once you click i need to figure out does the course map include a record or no right if it doesn't include a record this means what i'm going to do uh, uh, is to create a rec record right if it does include a record i can check to see is the user in the list of ids if the user is in the list of ids then i'm going to remove them because if they click on a full heart 
this means they are changing their mind and want to unlike that course or whatever okay so now this is very straightforward so what we could do is this we check to see if uh, let let okay here it is course uh, review course review here it is uh, equal to so this is to check to see if it's null or no equal to uh, self dot map the course map mm, includes the course does it include the course dot course id does it include it if that's the case if it's uh, this is it includes it else it doesn't include it. so now if it doesn't include it what we're going to do basically if it doesn't include it this is what we would like to do is to create a record right so basically we'd like to create a record and that record we're going to create it here right so basically here it is and so we create a record so basically let's create the data first so var or let's say the data that we'd like so else this means that it doesn't exist at all this means the record doesn't exist a record that has the course id the you are like ids and the review count does not exist right so go here let's create that record right so uh, uh we'll create the record right and uh, in order to create the record we'll use the same approach we did to create a record before right so let data to equal to a dictionary uh, and uh, let's say here it is and it's of type i can make it also here is of type string comma uh, uh, object what is that all right here it is any so this is string any and then basically it's going to have the value the parameters that we had here that these are the parameters that we have well, here it is here that it's going to have a course id okay and it is going to have a course id and course id here it is and it is also going to have the you like ids here's that okay and we'll figure out where it is going to be i will just put a string for the time being but it's an array okay and then the review count so creating a new one with the review count is equal to zero so here's the review count and its value is zero all right here is that mm -hmm. so here is that we're creating a new record now the course id we can get it from here course dot course id here's the course id and then these likes is an array so i'll create an array okay and in, in that array i will get the current user so auth dot auth dot uh, current user dot uid all right so i have the current user id here in an array because there is no record and the person clicked the heart if they click the heart when there is no record this means that nobody liked it before or never really made any reviews to it before so basically we uh, create a record like this so here is the data and then they basically all what i'm going to do is then do use the use the uh i'm going to store it so where i'm going to store it is under that collection mm -hmm. here it is dot document and i'm going to add it also at course dot course id i'll put it there dot set data to the data that we have here all right so we're good now once you do that that triggers the snapshot listener you see here the snapshot listener is listening to this collection and then you get another map and then the map goes in triggers the, the table to reload now we'll have to figure out what to do when the table reloads and so on so we'll, we'll look at that in a little bit so now if it exists so now this is the case where it does exist right so now if it exists <coughs> what we want to do is that that record already exists now this means that there is a pre uh, created record so now here we need to check to see if the user is there or no right so basically uh, if the user is there uh, is in the uids or no right so basically we go in here and check to see if um, uh, course review course review dot uh, likes dot uids dot uh, contains right contains where mm -hmm. uh, contains right so um, uh, it contains so you can give it a collection and let's see if what if I use this one and I provide it with uh, auth dot auth sorry dot auth dot uh, um, current user dot uid does it contain that okay else if it doesn't contain it so basically either it contains it or it doesn't contain it all right so now 
uh, either it does contain it or it doesn't contain it, right? So basically, if it contains it, this means this user already is in the system, right? So basically, we would like to do something similar to that. So basically, if the user is in the system and they click in the like IDs, what we'd like to do is to remove them, right? So I want to remove them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a field value to do that. So basically, the data that I'm, and I'm going to not set, I'm going to update, see? I'm going to update. And then here, what I'm going to do is I am going to use this approach. So I'll use field value, field value dot uh, array remove, array remove, and you give it an array of elements. So uh, any elements, so here is that, an array of elements. So remove this user from here, and you trigger uh, an update. So you just remove them. Now, if they don't exist, instead, it's exactly the same, but instead of removing, there is array union, add that user. So basically what we are doing here is just simply using the map to trigger either a, an, uh, an update or the triggered set. So we are doing set because it doesn't exist at all, right? Okay, so we took care of the heart situation here. Now what we need to do also is to copy the same code right here. And here when we are creating a cell, I'll paste the same code, but I remove all this data creation data update is that this one goes away and also this one goes away and similarly this one goes away and here all what i'm going to do is there is a button that i would like to change the image on so when if it let's handle this case first so basically cell dot button heart button dot uh, configuration dot background dot image uh, equals ui image named and there is a name that i need here so basically this case is it doesn't exist at all right so basically this means that this person this is an empty heart there's that here it is we go back again to here and it's an empty heart uh, where else we have an empty heart is that when uh, it exists but the user is not in the list so we are here and then the last case is we have here a full heart so let's go back again and get the name of it okay copy go click here we go here and here we are as well heart so basically all what i'm doing is just checking to see if it contains it uh if it contains it i put a full heart if it doesn't contain it i put an empty heart if the review object doesn't exist at all you know this course record object doesn't exist at all i put an empty heart and then the clicking on the heart we have to figure out do you like it or no to start with and so on so let's run it and see if we have uh, if we're able to demo this let's see here it is okay here it is we click on reviews and it uh, crashed for some reason let's have a look course id fatal error so we're not able to get uh, the course review course id mm. okay let's see so if if it's not empty we do this so let's put a, a breakpoint here and i'll run it again and let's have a look at where things went wrong from us here okay here is reviews and we are here let's have a look at what is uh, the course review situation here the course id is nil and the like ids are zero and the review count are zero is there a record so let me refresh here okay so we are here in snapshot.documents we are here if it's not empty so there is a record it seems so there is a record somewhere here so let me refresh this again we are looking at courses uh let if snapshot is equal to snapshot so this means it exists snapshot is not empty okay we do doc uh, snapshot dot get documents and uh, we can print the document dot data print document dot data let's see what are we getting here let's run that mm -hmm. and have a look it's slight debugging here it's coming in right here are reviews and uh, let's have a look okay at the printing and uh, like id is an array and it has some stuff here it seems that i do have this stuff somewhere so are we connected to the correct uh, project uh, probably we are so let me refresh this again okay let me also uh, delete the grades i don't think it has to do anything with grades but anyway delete let me look at the project overview apps i have uh, the grades app right here is that and i do have the sdk file we have 
uh, the Google file here also. Okay, so it seems that there is some data that's coming in somehow. There is like IDs and it has some kind of like IDs and it doesn't have a course ID. So it seems that there is some data coming in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, let me try to add some grids and see if this works. And am I writing to the right database or no? Okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we are. And let's say we create another database, another record. Here it is. Another record here and another record here. Submit. And I am writing. Oh, it could be also that we had some caching issues. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the whole app. So here it is the app. Let me remove the app because I did some uh, debugging uh, earlier, right? So I deleted the app altogether. So this should remove the cache, right? So here it is. Go here, click on reviews, and we're good to go. So good. So I just deleted it because there is a cache, you know, and I had some garbage data from the past. But anyway, so we go back again. I was building this app in multiple stages. And to tape the video, I have to, to pause and so on. Anyhow. <coughs> Uh, so uh, we are able to get the reviews now let's have a look at what happens when I click on the heart so now this case is which case here this case I'll put a breakpoint here this case is that nothing is in the map you see the whole map is empty right there is nothing there is no data so let's go back here let's go back to the app <coughs> now when I click on the heart what's gonna happen is that we are here and now it's not gonna be this part of the if statement it's gonna be the else so you can click here see it goes into the else it's gonna create a new one right so let's run the whole thing and it created a new one if we go back here there is a new here is the course and and we go from there now if we click on it again let's say if we click on it again here it is now we are here it will land into this side of the of the statement here it is and now it it does contain it so we are in here and now it's going to uh, trigger the removal of the user from the array so run this go back again and you can see that uh, here is the the course itself so let me refresh mm -hmm. here is the course here is the record there is no user IDs now if you click on it again there is a record right so basically it, it will land in here so if you go here it will land in here and it will land in the case where you want to add the user you see here you're gonna add or union the user so we run this and you can see that now the user ID is here all right so basically we are able to handle the situation of adding and removing right so basically we're able to end the handle the situation of adding and removing you can add another one you can go here you can go here you can go here and if you go back you can see the courses being added right and also you can remove yourself from them here it is remove here is this one also remove remove and remove so if you go back here you'll see that you don't exist in any of them your user id doesn't exist in any of them all right, so we're good. We are able to handle the situation of adding and removing uh, users, uh, the heart situation here. Now, the number of reviews, what we will do is that this is uh, when you add a review and when you remove a review, we are going to update that number. All right, okay. So I'll assume that it's going to be updated. So I'll go back to the, uh, the table and just add uh, the code for that. So basically here we'll check to see so now if it exists then uh, we can get the review so we could do cell dot review uh, number of views dot text and we could say for example uh, we go here and say it is uh, course course reviews dot count uh, okay we call that count or what did we call it we called it count or we called it uh, review count here it is okay course review course review dot count mm -hmm and we'll say reviews right so that's if it exists now if it doesn't exist we simply just say it's zero so we go here it doesn't exist so we'll just say say zero reviews right so now when we run it you will see that it still will show zero reviews right so i messed up something here maybe i did not oh text equals okay equals here we are mm -hmm. and it will show the number of review counts so now how do we address this review count situation is very similar so basically we are here now so what i'm going to do is because uh when you click uh so basically this is this is done right so if we go back to uh review course course review we are um this screen is when you add the reviews so basically you click here uh, sorry uh, you go to reviews you click on a course it takes you here and basically what you are seeing here is the course and you're entering a review 
and that allows you to uh, create a review and so on and if you look at what the review object has let's have a look at that model it doesn't have anything so let's figure out what we need to show so we need in a review when it's made we need the text of the review the name of the person when it was created and possibly um, if we're going to store them uh, we need also the course id okay so basically in the course uh, in the in the part where we uh, display this so let's go back here this is the review course right here it is you are getting actually the course in that's how you are able to display it. so you have the course id and all that interesting stuff now when you click uh, we can just create a review so basically what i'm going to do is let's create a review okay so i will uh, salvage some of the code that we had here let's copy this one here's that a course review here it is so this is going to be the database and we can get also user id okay here is the database so now what i'm going to do is let's say uh, db dot uh, collection let's store them at a oh yeah we need to import some uh, import uh, fire firebase firestore uh, import uh, firebase auth is, okay so here is the collection collection and we call it maybe reviews okay here that and then we can we want uh, to store a review right so basically i need uh, document reference uh, document reference doc ref here is that equal to this and let's say we do a document like this so we have this is the review and then basically we are <coughs> so this is a document reference right, so it's of type document reference so let okay this is my document reference right so and then we are going to uh, create some document that's going to hold the data right so we create a doc uh, uh, let data to equal to something here and then basically we're going to say store the doc uh, doc id as the document reference dot id same thing right so what we are doing we did before and then maybe review text which is going to be uh, review text whatever you received right and then similarly we're going to store also created at created at and that is the field value field value dot server timestamps here's that <coughs> and then similarly we're going to store who stored it so uid person who created it so uid and we can go in and uh, do auth dot auth dot current user dot uid so we added that and then we need the name of the user so you name maybe username uh, also auth dot auth dot current user dot display name so we have the display name of the user display name there's that and then so we have all of that information you know we could do if display name uh yeah we can do some validity check here but i'm not going to do that so we have all what we need we have the 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 uh the review information we also need the course id so that we can filter by course id right so basically we'll do um course id to be uh, m course or course the course that you have here uh, course dot course id all right so we have the course id also stored all right good 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 and then basically when you submit i'll just say document reference dot set data to data all right so that stores it mm -hmm. do we need to do anything else after storing if we do maybe i can put a uh, incomplete listener uh, to uh, to figure that out so yeah this one it's not happy because of uh, you just need to define the type here any we're good so now this should be okay now there's a comma missing we store the data i can have it also with a uh, data i can do uh, set data with a completion handler so this is data and then we can do check to see if error if error, let error let error is equal to error mm -hmm. else we do something else. so basically here we are you submit and it's uh, it's okay so now what i'm going also to do here is set up a snapshot listener to listen to these uh, events so let's copy this i'm going to listen to these where <coughs> where field is equal to so i want the field which is the course id to be equal to the course id i'm only interested in ones that are belonging to this course right? <coughs> all 
right? Dot um, snapshot listener, add snapshot listener with a listener, and this is the snapshot. And similarly, this is the error. Okay, so what we're going to do here is in the snapshot listener, we, it's very similar to what we did in, let's say, <coughs> my grades. I can even copy some of the stuff that we had here. I'll just copy the stuff that we had here. Control C. Here it is, and Control V. We do this. This is maybe the review. We use error. And then here we're going to remove everything from the review. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, uh, reviews, and then self dot uh, reviews dot append uh, we need to create a constructor so let's try to do that here so we have uh, course review is this no we have a review object here it is <coughs> and it needs to have the information that we stored so this stuff that we have here in the review we need to also declare it here okay here's that now uh, var here's the document id as a string Okay, so we have that. Control C, Control V. So we have document ID. We have the uh, review text. We have created it that I will need to declare as timestamp. <coughs> Import Firebase. And this is timestamp. Okay. And then also we have the user ID. Here is that. The user ID and we have the username and we have the course id here's that and here it is and we're good to go so now what i could also do is i could copy what i did for let's say the grade <coughs> i can copy that stuff from here to here here it is go back to the review and here we go i don't need all of these i know document id is one of them that's good and then review text can be this one also here's the review text created at i can copy it from here and do this and this and then do this as a time stamp here it is so we have created at also done user id there is user id and this is a string here's a string okay and uh username here's the username here it is here it is we have the username and the course id here's the course id and the course id i don't need these now and we're good to go so basically i have <coughs> i have all what i need to do the parsing let's go back again to review a course <coughs> and here we do reviews append i'll do a review mm -hmm. with doctor documents so basically it gives me the review and we are very close okay so uh, self.course.course id we need to wrap this one here good all right so we're good we have the snapshot listener reloading the table we go back to the table we have the uh, table bind review with review okay good so now we have the cell dot uh, <coughs> cell dot uh, um, let's say uh, <coughs> cell dot name created by name label dot text <coughs> text equal to uh, review dot u name right review dot u name mm -hmm that's the created by label we also have the review <coughs> so we have the review um, the review label and that is the review text review text and here we go so we are able now to show both the this and this now we just need the time <coughs> and you can look at it up look it up but it's a formatter so cell dot created <coughs> created at label dot text and we can do a simple dit format uh, a formatter here but anyhow so i could do if uh, let created at equals to s uh, review because so in some cases it might be null so you c especially when we tell it to do it on the server when we create it we're telling it to use the server time it takes a little bit of time for this to happen so it will happen in two steps so now if it's in this case i'll just say n slash a otherwise we're going to do it's equal to uh, review dot created at dot or we have already created that so we have the variable created at dot date date value dot uh, formatted and so on we can do that so date value and let's see what happens when we do this will it work uh, date value uh, string dot string 
uh, formatted with the format style and time style so we can do this and we can do here uh, let's say uh, long and uh, this one is <coughs> uh, shortened all right so we can do something like that run this we can be more detailed on the on the uh, formatting but let's see here are the reviews click on the course click a new one test submit and here it is it's displaying something here so if we go here <coughs> and refresh and here are the reviews it shows here is the review it shows the time date and so on and it shows the touch can we can work on the touch can now so basically we can go in and say check to see if review 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 dot uid equals auth dot auth dot current user dot uid right then we do something we show the trash can else we don't show the trash can so basically it's uh, <coughs> cell dot button so the delete button dot uh, uh, is hidden to false and otherwise here cell dot delete button dot is hidden to true all right so we are able to show if it exists or no let's see here <coughs> reviews we click on this it shows us the trash can we create another one blah, blah, and we create another one and the trash can is visible okay good so uh, now if i log out let's say we log out let's go as bsb.com bsb.com tsd123 i'm not sure if this was the user we no it's not good excellent so we go to reviews we pick the course we can see the reviews but we cannot delete them if we add a new review now we're able to delete it okay good so we are able to do these things very good okay and <coughs> now to delete is very easy you know so basically to delete we just go in and delete the course so how are we going to delete it we just point it delete it and done and the snapshot listener takes care of the rest so we'll copy this from here deleting the course is this dot document and we know exactly where the document is document is at review dot course id and dot course id and then we just delete it we just do dot delete and this takes care of the deletion we run it okay so we're here <coughs> okay reviews click on here we click here it should delete it i did click but it didn't delete reviews document see is it not clicking or okay db collection is reviews the document is the course id am i when i'm creating a new one data here it is oh i'm creating a random document Ooh, okay so the document id is what i need so i need it's not course id it's the dot document id that's what i'm going to use here let's run this again okay okay i need to tell it what to delete right so here it is here are the reviews you pick the course you click on the delete button and it disappears you add another course here it is add another one and let's add another one now when i click on delete it's working okay perfect perfect so i'm deleting okay so i'm done with this screen now let's see what happens to these numbers i need these numbers to change so whenever i add a review i need to bump up this number by one whenever i delete a review i need to decrease this number by one right all right so in order to do that uh, i just need to uh, handle the situation here so basically what we need to do is we need to figure out if there is a record or no you see this this course record which maintains both the uh, the like ids the, the the like user ids and the review count we just need to see if does this one exist or no right which is under courses course id so if it exists then i will get a course record right so basically i need to create here something called let's say var course uh review right the review and it is a course review here it is and what i'm going to do is i'm going to use also a snapshot listener right so here it is a snapshot listener and it's not here it's courses right and then uh, the uh, document so i'm looking at the document this is the first time we do this document and the path of the document is the course dot course id so uh, basically i'm trying to see does this one exist right so now if error if i'm not going to remove anything here if snapshot exists right and the snapshot is not empty then i'm not going to loop or anything basically what i'm going to get is a snapshot and that snapshot i can it's a document snapshot so basically uh, there is nothing called empty here 
basically if it's equal to here it's called if snapshot exists uh, exists if it exists then uh, I am going to do this I'm going to do it like this I'll go to say uh, self dot uh, course review equals course review of the document right so we have of the snapshot I mean snapshot so basically what you are doing here is you are pointing it to a document the snapshot listener not to here you are pointing it to a collection all right expected a query snapshot listener so let's do this fix that as a query snap so a query the query document is uh, the same as a query uh, so you see here it's saying that if you look here it's saying that you have the course review you have a query document snapshot right but uh, what this one returns is a um, if you go back again to review a course a query document snapshot it's the same thing right so copy this if you look at the course review it's a query document snapshot and what we're looking for is a uh, it's not a query document snapshot it's okay i'll show you what it is let's see course review review a course basically if you look at um, this okay and you go and do add snapshot listener add snapshot listener and you see here it's a document snapshot right okay which is similar to a query document snapshot right okay okay we, we remove that and we're good now let's see if this works <coughs> so now if uh, a record exists or if it doesn't exist so basically now if this review exists then <coughs> when you are here uh, after you are done with this here then this is when you're creating an item so you could say if the uh, query if you let let's say we let uh, this equal to this here it is or or we could do if it's not equal to null right if we could say review is equal to null right this means it doesn't exist else it exists right so basically when you are creating either it exists or it doesn't exist so if it doesn't exist <coughs> if it's equal to nil then what i'm going to do is that it doesn't exist and you are creating a new record so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do something very similar to what we did when we were liking things so basically when we were liking here is the button right uh, either you uh, 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 or, or if it doesn't exist we just go ahead and create a record so we go here here it is if it's equal to nil i'm just going to say data create some data course id is the course id at this the review count now is equal to one and then this one is going to be an empty array no it's not liking here you create a new record add a, add a add it and boom add that record all right so that's the case when it does not exist so we'll do self dot dot course similarly here is self dot course yes all right so that's a that's when it does not exist the type course must be unwrapped okay here is unwrap this okay so we're good <coughs> this creates the record okay now <coughs> if the call if it exists then what i would like to do is this exists so you see here set data i'm creating a new record if it exists then i will not include all of that stuff and instead of just doing this i'll do field value field value dot increment by 1.0 so basically you are just incrementing right so basically you are adding a new and then here you are update update data instead of uh, increment data so this is the case when you are adding a new record see here is you're adding a new record now what if we are adding a new review now when you are deleting a review here it is now we'll do the same thing if it exists <coughs> If it is equal to nil, right, this means that it doesn't exist, then we're going to create one with a review count of zero, right? You can do something like that. Uh, and I don't know if this case is going to happen, but anyway. And then otherwise, we just decrement. Decrement. There's no decrement, so there's only increment, and I'm just this make incremented by minus one, right? And update date. So now if we run this, let's see. <coughs> and what I'm going to do just to start things up. I'm going to delete these collections just so that we can start from fresh reviews here it is delete and here is the courses also delete courses delete <coughs> all right so we're good everything is uh, fresh here it is we click on here <coughs> let's refresh this one okay where is that we have a course let's add another one okay we should have another course and the like ids are working okay good <coughs> so let's make the first one uh see the like ids are working uh, so these two records already have a record in place so we go here let's add some 
Okay, now it's not happy. <coughs> As a query snapshot, it doesn't like the case that cannot cast a Firefest document to a document snapshot. Okay. All right, so let's see how we can do this. <coughs> so, course document exists, course review, and course review. Um, okay so it needs what we could do is in the course review it doesn't like the cast so let's go back again here this is a query snapshot i'll copy the same thing again call it document snapshot let's see does it like it now go back again to the review course and okay uh, let's run this now okay let's see here are the reviews and we click on here and now let's see uh <coughs> now let's add it as a review this one exists already so if we are here it already exists let's say test okay and now i click on submit now you see here the review count is incremented by one C click on this one again and see it's incrementing by one now when I click on delete, it's decrementing. All right, let's add some more because it already exists, right? Delete, delete, and delete. So now because of it, let's say we add some more, mm -hmm. let's go back <coughs> and it says three reviews. Let's click on this one. This one, there is no record, okay? So let's go to do a test here, T-E-S-T, -E click on submit. And now we see a new, a new one got created. <coughs> here it is with one count of reviews add another one two three four okay but go back here there is no likes let's say i like it also it gets likes all right so we handled all the cases i know it was a little bit quick you know and there was a little bit of confusion with uh with the constructor here there is a document snapshot and there is a query document snapshot it doesn't want you to go <coughs> from uh document to query maybe because of the subclassing so basically uh if you just remove this altogether it will work also because i think uh, query document snapshot is a child of uh, document snapshot so you can do downcasting so we were trying to do upcasting and it's not happy so i just created another one it's fine <coughs> all right so uh, this is the solution for the assignment it's a sketch so please let me know if you have any questions thank you